well, uh, presumably his X car is uh, 91, Bob Sharp. So not a, not a very large field assembled by any means, but as you saw that last race, they did produce quite a good performance. The tone of that V8 Rover engine definitely standing out from the crowd as the pace car fights to get away. And Colin gets a brilliant start there. They're going through the cement dust, which uh, as a result of that last banger race. But anyway, look at that. Great start from 144, Tim Foxlow. So after one lap, it is Mick Scullin from Ray Richards. Third place, Tim Foxlow. Fourth, Chilton. Fifth, Butler. Sixth, Sharp. And seventh. And seventh, Dave Poole. And so we'll see how that big rover of Richard Chilton's handles. He doesn't appear to be doing a lot wrong at the moment as he tries for the outside line on 144, Tim Foxlow. Maybe not just quite good enough because that's allowed, well, he allowed 101 Brian Butler just to make a slight bit of ground there. So really now he'll have to wait for maybe a mistake by Tim Foxlow. And the mistake may come as Foxlow tries to take 134, Ray Richards, the current second placeman. But is this the case? He's got the inside line. Ray Richards will be aware he's there. And Tim Foxlow, you can see how hard he's trying. That wheel locks up under braking. Foxlow throws it sideways. The big rover of Richard Chilton goes sideways. But now Richards has been relegated back. He get locked into that outside line and everyone moves through. So it is now first Mickey Scotton, second is Tim Foxlow and Foxlow Locked up slightly under braking there. Was that a mistake? No, because Richard Chilton just got a, a little bit of oversteer going into that corner. So coming out of that corner, that reduces the, the speed coming out of the corner. Oh, and Chilton has got a nose ahead slightly there. Foxlow locks it again. He's got the outside line, and will Chilton get through? He does. Superb piece of driving. One slight mistake by Foxlow, and Chilton is through. And now the chase is on for the lead. First, Mickey Scotland. Second, 07, Richard Chilton. And Butler now goes on the inside of 144. Tim Foxlow is having a little bit of trouble. Possibly his brake bias is slightly out. He gets that car terribly sideways. 101, Brian Butler goes all over the place then, but it is now after eight laps completed this 15 lap race. First Scotland, second 07 Richard Chilton. And it looks like a track rod has broken on Brian Butler's or a track rod end dropped off as he loses all two. It, nine laps completed, first Scotland, second Chilton. Third is Shaw, fourth is Foxlow and fifth is 134 Ray Richards. So Bob Sharp going a little bit better than he has for the first two races of this afternoon. But still out there in the lead is 67, Mick Scotland. So Mick Scotland in the three litre Capri chasing, well sorry, being chased by 07, Richard Chilton. Tim Foxlow is in fourth place. He is hard on the tail of third place man. Bob Shaw and 67. Bob Scotton in the lead. Scotton lapping in a fraction under 20 seconds. But the lead being reduced all the time by Richard Chilton. He's got four laps to go. The pressure really on. Scotton, who took the second race this afternoon. Can he really hold off the might of this big three and a half litre rover, slightly heavier car, different weight distribution. It's a whole new ball game and Richard Chilton appears to have sorted it out. They're coming up behind the back marker, Dave Poole. If you look, the rover appears to be better under braking, but it comes out of the corners fractionally slower. The blue flag is given to Dave Poole. He moves to the outside. They've got one and a half laps to go now. Can Scotland hold off Richard Chilton? What a superb end to the race.
first goal and second Chilton, third is Sharp, fourth Foxlow, fifth Riches. And they've got just over one lap to go. Scotland tries to shut the door. He does it superbly. Richard Chilton opts to take the outside line. Is he sufficiently in contact to make it on this very last corner now? Scotland with everything to drive for. Chilton's looking for the outside line. Look how he throws that car around. They're side by side. And Chilton just makes it by a matter of one yard. Richard Chilton drives a superb last lap. Brilliant, absolutely superb. Well, let's hope the remaining two finals are as good as that. Six cars left in at the end. Brilliant. Sorry, all the time I was saying that was Bob Sharp and it is actually Larry Dewsbury. Nobody came and told me. It's a <laughs> quite easy mistake to make. Anyway, back to the race. Let's see how they all finished. <laughs> and so, the final then. In first place, 07, Richard Chilton. Second place went to 67, Mick Scotton of Birmingham. Sorry, of Sheffield. Third place went to number five, Larry Dewsbury. Fourth place went to 144, Tim Foxlow. Fifth place went to 134, Ray Richards. In sixth place was 39, Dave Poole of Birmingham. And in seventh place was 101, Brian Butler. But what an absolutely superb race. 67, Mick Scotton led it from the beginning as he did that second heat. He looked like he could win. 07, Richard Chilton was down the field in fourth place on lap five. He moved up when he took Larry Dewsbury. Sorry, 134, Ray Richards on lap six. And then on lap eight, he, man lap eight, he managed to get past 144, Tim Foxlow. And then he continued in second place, narrowing the gap all the way until that very last lap. When he went into the penultimate corner, still maybe half a car length down, he gave it all he'd got on the very last corner, took that outside line and just made it by a... Well, it must have been by a metre, that's all. It was superb. So third, Larry Dewsbury. Second, but only just second after driving superbly, 67, Mickey Scotton. And the winner, a man who will be very pleased with his performance this afternoon. Two wins out of three. He now takes the final, number 07, Richard Chilton. And if that ESRA Championship is run again, I think there is a man to watch. <laughs> and I think he'll agree with me there. They'll have that car sorted out. happy with that. Green flag, we're off. The race is on, the race is on, the race is on. Wayne Barrett's in bowl position.
right. Two laps gone, and let's have a look at the lineup. Wayne Barrett in first position, uh, number 27. Car number 29 there. Dave Westwood in second place, 134. Ray Riches in third position. Peter Winston, I believe, who's been docked one place for jumping the queue in the lineup, now challenging his fourth position. Head of car number 39. And the first casualty, car number 74, and also Tim Floxlow, number 144, with obvious steering problems. And here they come. And it's Wayne Barron being challenged there by Ray Ritchie's number 134. And Jewsbury's off. Jewsbury's out of the racing. And we have in first position now Ray Riches, and it's Wayne Barrett and Peter Winston there in car number nine. The big rover creeping forward behind his teammate, approaching the halfway stage with five laps left to go. Some very, very close bunching there with 134, 134 still in the lead, Ray Riches being challenged by Peter Winston, car number nine. And then there's Wayne Barrett and the big rover behind 27, number 27 went pretty wide there and the rover's gonna try and get through on the inside to get him into third position and he's done it. So we have 134, number nine, 07. And next time round, he's going to make it just two laps to go, and these two cars locked side by side. Ray Riches, and number nine, and a black cross for number 125, please. And they've both been slowed down now there by Nandy McLaren, number 113, and this gives an opportunity for the big rover to get a little bit closer and outbreak them. This is going to be a hell of a last lap, I feel, because the track is open. And in they go for the last lap with Peter Winston in first place and the Rover charging there and just getting in as 134 went wild and here we go for the chicken flag. finish to that race. I know that Peter Winston was in guilty of an infringement at the early part in the warm-up, the rolling lap, but he came in ahead of that mighty rover, Richard Chilton's, the 3.5 litre rover, the V8. Whether or not the enforcement includes the docking of one place, I have yet to check. No doubt about it by any measures. A tremendous finish there, a tremendous finish, and there's Peter Winston, number nine.